Hey kids, welcome back to Plantation Bay. Um, I Unfortunately, I did a little bit of development. I was recording an episode and then realized partway through that the recorder was not properly set up. So that's kind of a shame because you guys missed some stuff. Although, to be honest, it wasn't that exciting. Uh, and it's just not so bad that I do a little bit of development on this region uh, off screen uh, because because you know it, it does it does get a little bit repetitive at a certain point and I don't think uh, I don't think I did anything too too exciting that you guys missed um, most notably we're, we're we are approaching last episode we would have been around just just over 300,000 for the region we're now approaching 400,000 but I'll show you I'll show you what I did as usual um, I have started cleaning up plantation Bay city uh, and and I've put a tax in place um, I've put a tax in place for dirty and and manufacturing industry in the central city, which uh, which will you know which will be in effect going forward. Uh, I didn't I didn't set the oh, I'll show you here. I didn't set the tax to I didn't like max out the taxes because I don't really I don't really like to do that. Um, I put it to 15% for dirty and 12% for manufacturing, uh, and we've basically killed killed most of that. In this tile, um, and it's been replaced by it's been replaced by uh, uh, clean industry. Uh, also, I had a I had uh, Lee and Lee two twenty two uh, submitted Farmdale as as the name for a neighborhood. Um, that that user also suggested uh, that I name neighborhoods in the kind of surrounding area after agricultural practices, which would have presumably been in place before uh, before urbanization. The power plants have now all been moved down to this corner for this for this tile, and we've got more power than we need. You can see lots of resident, uh, residential and commercial development has kind of popped up in this tile, uh, and this this whole area has now been zoned. So let me just show you the zoning map. Uh, but yeah, that wasn't actually that fun to watch, to be honest. So I'm I'm just not uh, not that concerned about that. Um, I did also pop over to Inner Bay, and I think we're going to be probably focusing on the surrounding areas and kind of extending. I think we're I think I think we might be able to hit 500k in this episode. That's that's what I'm hoping for. But yeah, uh, so just a reminder: if you if you want to submit a name for a neighborhood in the um, in in the comments, uh, please do. Uh, name for a neighborhood or a name for a park. Or we've got a, a big park here that has no name. There's a park here that has no name. Uh, these bridges could also be names. These bridges that I put in place last episode. Uh, and uh, yeah. So let me just uh, tick the clock forward a bit here. See if some more. Uh, um Oh yeah, I've got to do some. I've got to do some educational stuff. City's now 100 years old, so that's another uh, another milestone. Got to. I've got to fix some of the services here, but I'm just not going to. I don't want to spend uh, spend recording time um, fixing schools and hospitals and stuff. Also having a bit of traffic problems, but. Uh, but yeah, um, looking at this neighborhood, look, if we look at transit, actually, it might be nice to look at that quickly before I pop over. We actually don't have mu much of a traffic problem. Uh, obviously, this avenue connection on the, the Avenue Ring Road, uh, which is, I guess, called Metropolitan Avenue, uh, is, is, is going to have is going to have heavy traffic and that's that's normal. Um, what we need to do, if I look at the subway and L train map, we have this this kind of cross shaped or T-shaped um, transit system here, uh, and yeah, that's going over there and over here. Uh, we're going to need a crosstown line here for sure, uh, and I want to. Uh, maybe we'll pop over to what was what is the city called again? It's called you know, just Rob's River. Yeah, um, let's head over to Rob's River actually, and maybe do some residential development up there. If we have any demand, we have a little bit of demand. So maybe we'll do some kind of suburban type development for now. Low density. We haven't really done any of that. Uh, and then, uh, and then um, we'll see what we're able to get in terms of. Just want to see if we can get a little bit more commercial development in this tile. Create some demand. This tile is pretty much filled out. Uh, obviously, there's areas down down here, down uh, um, down south that that need to be developed. But we need we need more infrastructure down there to to support any kind of development. Yep. 
yeah, so let's let's head next door. See what we can do. Uh, it does get uh, it gets it gets tricky at this point of uh, of the city's development uh, because we you know you you sort of hit you get a lot of population in the central area and we're probably going to end up rezoning some of that commercial um, to to push some of the residential development out of this tile. Um, just see here. Yeah. Let's head to Rob's River, and I want to I want to have a look at how we're going to be developing this tile going forward. I haven't been here in a while, so we definitely have a little bit of demand. There we are. Oh yeah, we're getting some some residential demand for sure. We have a huge amount of commercial demand. This is the avenue that's that's kind of overcrowded, uh, and I think that maybe we'll put, I think maybe we'll put a subway along this avenue, and that will be our, our new crosstown line. Uh, let's see here, and then also we uh, obviously we need to develop this area as well. Um, yeah, and then along this line here. Need to be figuring out what to do about. Okay, we need. We're gonna need some underpasses here. Maybe I will. Maybe I'll try and finagle some one-way underpasses. It's gonna be tricky. Uh, I'm not sure. Let's see here. Flexible underpass. We need the one-way one. Street ramp. Diagonal underground routes. Straight routes under one way. Uh, where is it? Is that? Oh, that is. Is that a one way? Yeah, exit. Okay. Right. So we want this one going that way. And then it needs to pop out on the other side here. That's looking good. Somehow it's like guessing which way I want these to work. Uh, I need to rotate. this is not rotating the way I want it to. Hmm. Let's see what I can do here. If I can't get this to work in a second, I will uh, I will do it off screen. But yeah, I gotta say, as this city gets bigger, it's uh, it's become an interesting challenge to. There we go. That's what I want. Okay, it's become an interesting challenge to to get the uh, you know to figure out what to do on screen and off screen. Yeah. Okay. So I think this is gonna have to go underground as well. Um, there's probably, uh oh, let's not do that. There's probably a way to do, to get this to work, but I'll just, I'll just make a rail tunnel to, to simplify things. This is, um, definitely an important, an important set of underpasses. Right, so we need diagonal underground route under straight road. We need something under under rail for sure. Under straight rail, can I rotate this and get it to be diagonal rail? No. Under diagonal rail is what we need. Under ped mall. Under straight tram. 
Diagonal road, diagonal road. Under diagonal rail. This is straight underground route under diagonal rail. Looks good to me. There we are. Uh, did that work? It looks like it worked. Hmm. It sort of looks like it worked. Uh, I'm not sure. Well, I'll have to check, and I may have to fiddle around with it off screen. Oh, yeah, okay, so can we... Right, we're gonna have problems there. Let's just do this. See if I can convince this to develop, otherwise I'm gonna have to do some major... Yeah... Oh, it's always messy, especially when we start using these complicated NAM tools, for sure. So I really need that... I really need this to connect. Yes, awesome. Okay, now can we get this straight to connect? No. Okay. Uh, that's gonna have to be like that. Can I do this? Yes. Awesome. And the other side should be should be more decent, but easy to do. I mean, awesome. Let's connect up the station and try this one more time. I really don't think that's gonna work. Yeah. Okay. We want to do the just a quick kind of subway underpass, basically. The other option being, um, the other option, of course, is going is going to be uh, to turn turn this into a rail viaduct, which could be interesting in the long term. There we are. Just connect this up here. Looks good to me. It's a bit weird to be honest, but I don't know what's going on here. Why is this? I don't know why there's that grass appearing there, but you know, it's uh, it's a little bit imperfect. All this this nom business. That or I'm just not very good at it. <laughs> okay, and then we'll connect up that street there, or not. There we are. Maybe put a cross street in there. And there. Alright. Now we can easily extend this avenue like that, like so. Or this, I guess it's sort of a boulevard. Uh, we've we've uh, unplugged the whole city. Uh, where were you going? You were, okay, I see, yep. There we are. And so this area here, I'm probably not going to develop for now. I'll focus on this area because we need to. We'll have other, other annoying uh, underpasses and stuff to do. And then I've unplugged the city again. Uh, it might be worth considering putting uh, putting some industry in this in this city as well, for sure. But yeah, just starting to plan plan the uh, the extension of this neighborhood. We need a cross street here, and we need to build stations. Build this kind of two blocks. Have we got another? Um, might be good to try and connect this up here at some points, but we'll leave it for now. We'll leave it unconnected for now, and then I'll I'll extend it, and then we can connect it to this street here. 
Yeah, another another underpass type thing here for sure, I think. Well, maybe, maybe not. Maybe not. Actually, it kind of connects up nicely here. I'm not sure that it's necessary. Um, it's a long block, but I'll leave it. And then I think we'll, we will at some point pop back. Oh, wait, oh, we've got that street there. Awesome. So let's just see where this meets up. We can do this. There we are. Uh, yeah, let's do an overpass here. That, that looks good to me. I'm not going to build all this out yet, but we will soon. And we'll put, uh, we need to start with the elevated rail stations. So this one we need, elevated rail bus and subway. There's a station there, let's put one here, and here, and here. And just connect those up again. And watch the budget, we've got 80,000. Yeah, it's a challenge. It's a challenge um, uh, doing a let's play of, of SimCity, SimCity 4, and you know trying to cat catch as much development on screen as possible. Uh, obviously, I don't want you guys to miss stuff, but it does happen. It does happen. Uh, we can probably one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We can probably zone some of this stuff here. Probably just zone this medium, although it could be, as I said, it could be interesting to to um, do some low density development as well. Oh, I need bus stops. Uh, maybe one here, one here, one here, and one here. Let's give it water. We're going to need some more water for this city soon, I think. And the city is the city is going to very soon encroach on the, the old town there of, of uh, Rob's River for sure. Alright. So I'm going to run the clock for just a second here. We've got money. And we definitely need some commercial. Yeah, let's put a let's put a commercial strip, slow density along here. Try and generate a little bit more demand. And we can do the same thing along this street for sure. And probably right down to here, to be honest, right down to uh, the connecting city. Is our okay? So we have a rail station there. Uh, we could also put a rail station somewhere around here, but I don't think so. I think we'll maybe up here too. I'm not sure. We'll I'll think about that. I'm not going to. I'm not going to do any more rail for the time being on this tile. And let's see here. We built up a little bit of demand for residential. Obviously, all these neighborhoods need, need names, so feel absolutely free to submit a name.
I'll leave that blank for now. Maybe we'll put a park in there. We'll see. Still got lots of money. And I think, uh, yeah, that we, we need some kind of industry in this in this town for sure, no doubt. Uh, we just need we need more employment in the whole region, to be honest. We have to start looking at the regional map and figuring out uh, how the city is going to expand. There we are. Uh, let's take a look at education. We're going to need to put in a school and a high school here. Just lower the funding for the buses. There we are. Also need to put libraries, I think, in this tile. For sure. And a hospital. Lower the funding right down. That's going to stretch our budget to the limits. Look at that, we're getting a demand for a golf course. Okay, we have a lot of demand for high tech and. Yeah. I don't think I want to tax dirty industry in this tile yet, but let's just let this develop and so that's pretty substantial development there. We're going to need to pop over next door at some point and take a look at what we want to do here in terms of um, in terms of uh, connecting it up with transit. I'd like a diagonal line, like I'd almost want to take a put a subway station like here and like go diagonally maybe down the middle here that might be a decent idea um, then we could put a station there as well although I might actually hmm might be good to just run it along this this street here we'll see I, I think we need to look next door to figure out what makes sense there um, I gotta figure out now where we want to put industry, and maybe we'll use that rail line. Could be nice to put some here. Maybe kind of an industrial park along here. Or or we could use this area here because that would allow us to yeah to provide transit for the people going to work let's let the residential fill out first looks like there's no police in this tile Running out of water. Oh, we only have the one water pump in this in this uh, in this city. Hilarious. Okay. Just put that there for now. Crime. Oh yeah, there's just no police station at, at all in this tile. Let's just put one down. We need to put a jail as well. Maybe we'll just put two. Uh, it looks like there's no fire either. that as well. It's really annoying to get constant fires when you don't have a fire station set up. One there. One there. Fine with that for now. Yep. 
Yeah, we need industry, we need... let's see... Jail. Let's put the jail back here. It's fine. Let's turn down the funding for the jail. Street grid here. Kind of small blocks, but that's okay. Yeah, let's go back to the regional view. I need to uh, I need to do a little bit of regional planning here because otherwise this is going to be very very messy very quickly. Yeah, so that area will want to fill fill up for sure. Uh, the other thing to keep in mind is that we can of course we can of course make a connection between Rob's River and Inner Bay. Uh, that would that would might be useful, and I'd actually probably rather do that before before um, before building any kind of fancy subway. Uh, we can see this is now developing along that line there. Question is, what kind of connection do we want? Maybe an avenue connection. Or just a simple road connection, to be honest. But we'll, let's take a look here. Let's uh, let's pop over here, and see what makes sense, what the existing infrastructure looks like. Um, yeah, you can see, like, you can see that uh, a lot more industry is developed here. Uh, I, I think probably, for the time being, we can we can extend. Maybe we will take this avenue here. And extend it to Rob's River. Yep, let's do that. Simple solution for the time being. Get a sort of regional network going here. Just gonna press play and see what's going on in terms of demand here. Yeah, this will this will use up some of the dirty industry demand that was in um, Rob's River for sure. Yeah, I, I don't think it's a good idea to put to be to be zoning uh, industry in Robs River uh, with all the demand that's being created here, with all the demand that sorry that's that hasn't been occupied here. We've got a lot of zones here that haven't developed. So there we are. Also increased our residential demands. We'll want to be putting some residential here as well at some point. Switch these cities over to the uh, New York style of construction, I think, as well. Yeah, and then I can kind of make this. That's hmm. Yeah, I can kind of make a, a diagonal connection there with that avenue. I think I like that idea. Connect it up somewhere here or something. Mm-hmm. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, I want to head back over to Plantation Bay City and try and use up some of that commercial demand, then we'll head back to Rob's River again. I didn't see the regional population, but we must be getting somewhat close to...
let some of the commercial offices develop here. Then we'll head back to Rob's River and try and see what we can do there. I'm not sure that this connection is well placed. Might be better to put it here. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna fix that. I don't like it. I do not like it. Yeah, what I wanna do is Oops. And yeah, of course it causes me trouble now. Uh, that's messy, but I'll fix it later. What I'd like to do is connect it like, can we do, come on now. Yeah, I like this better. There we are. There we go. Much, much better. That avenue's there. Starting to, starting, the, na the region is starting to sort of take, take a more coherent form. Uh, we're not quite there, but it is. So, what I'd like to do is... Connect up this avenue. Mm. This, ooh, that's weird. The fuck? Wow, what is going on? There we go. That makes sense. Obviously that's going to be a weird kind of pinch point in terms of... in terms of uh, transportation and stuff, but I'll fix it after. Um... Let's take a look at demand in this tile. A little bit more residential demand, mostly commercial though. And lots of high tech demand as well, obviously. We need to wait till the uh, education ticks up in this in this city. Pretty good though. Oh, uh, private school. Uh, we have a private school, I believe, in this tile. It must be somewhere around here. Let me put one here. Private schools actually provide a boost to commercial desirability. I didn't realize that, but they do. Definitely need to put down some uh, some commercial zones. So 
fill out the street grid just so I know where I'm going here. It's getting messy. There's no doubt the the, the whole region is is definitely getting a little bit messy. But such as life. I will fix this. This is horrendous, but uh, I'll fix it. Alright, that's good enough for now. Yeah, the, see, see, this is, this, I think this is kind of how how I like to plan things out, like to have every few, like every six or eight blocks or so a major connection to the neighboring city. So we've got this one there, we've got that street there, we've got the the avenue connection to, to the neighboring city there. Uh, what we probably need to do is upgrade one of these, like this, oh this one here crosses the tracks, hmm. I see, I haven't gotten rid of those, uh, I haven't gotten rid of those level crossings yet but uh, we will have to for sure. Uh, yeah, let's take, let's do a, let's take a street here and I'll fix the level crossing after and send this all the way across here. There we are. And I'm gonna start by zoning commercial And we're gonna need a, uh, another transit stop there. Right there. diagonal zoning thing to do here. Uh, the diagonal avenues are, are, they are useful though, I don't, uh, uh, I hate, I hate having to deal with zoning diagonally, but uh, it does, it is, it is useful to cross large parts of the city. And I think I'm going to actually zone uh, low density residential, I think it's, uh, I think it's a good idea. I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit worried, to be honest, about uh, about having enough residential demand to continue to expand the city population. It's good to. I'm, I'm glad we've connected this one up with uh, Inner Bay because that's where the industry is happening right now in this region, and uh, we will certainly be building some high-tech industrial parks uh, outside of Inner Bay and stuff like that, but. For the time being, it's better to just encourage that development in that one area, I think. Okay, I'm going to start with that and give them water.
Uh, but just looking okay. Just take a quick look here. I know there's a school somewhere that's underfunded. Everything else looks fine. I'm gonna let that commercial develop, and then I'm gonna zone some uh, low-density residential. Oh yeah, power. Are we underfunding this, or? Yep, yeah, let's max that out. line. How is there no bus station here? There we go. Oh, these, we need a couple there too as well. Yeah, I'm just kind of naturally pushing, um, I'm pushing commercial, I'm pushing commercial areas to develop in Plantation Bay City. Uh, by only zoning low density commercial in this tile and then I'm going to push an industry obviously to develop in the inner bay for the time being but we need um, we need to put these kind of this, this, this low density commercial here it's just uh, it needs to have more more a little bit more employment in this tile create some kind of main street type neighborhood uh, commercial offices and, and and businesses and stuff and it won't eat up too much of the demands. Uh, so that so that a, a fair a fair amount more of it will go will go to Plantation Bay City, and you know I'm also just letting the region develop naturally. There we are. Now I'm going to put bus stops in this big area here. Probably one there, one there, one there. Looks good to me. And we can zone all this. We're gonna go, oh wait, forgot over here. There we are. Obviously we're gonna need parks and all sorts of stuff. Definitely think about putting a park somewhere in this whole neighborhood. But yeah, finally getting some uh, some suburban development. You can see that the the denser development is kind of following uh, following this transit line. I didn't put dense um, dense residential out here because it starts to get kind of far from the city center. But we we may we may indeed. Low density uh, residential is, is, is fairly expensive in terms of services because you end up paying for so much busing. Uh, I generally don't do a lot of it, but this is this is one of the circumstances where we have like a bit of demands, very very little really, uh, where it's actually useful to kind of jumpstart things and get them going and provide some structure to the city. Get a sense of where things are going, and we can kind of densify it after. Looks like we're running out of power again, so I'll build another power plant for this city. Got lots of money. Oh, shit. There we go. This is, uh, this city is getting to this, uh, like, there's a first kind of stage, I find, when when you're in SimCity 4, where cities start to get just a little bit unwieldy, and I feel like we're, we're kind of approaching that point here. Um, you know, it doesn't mean, it doesn't mean that there's any serious risk to the development of the city, but they, the planning of the region starts to become a lot more, uh, a lot more intricate and difficult. And I think the key thing, I think the key thing that I've done in in this 
episode in that regard is this connection here. So we're starting to have, you know, we're starting to have people traveling to, traveling between Inner Bay and Inner Bay and uh, and and Rob's River, and I think that's I think that's pretty key to be honest. It's pretty important. Still, I still don't know what we're gonna do for a for a cross town transit solution here, but we will find something. All right, we've got water. Uh, let's just take a quick look at education. Uh, I think we can just put a small school here and then. Large elementary school is going to overlap a bit, but that's okay. And a high school, just a regular high school, like here. That'll do for now. Uh, get some libraries going at some point in this tile, but not really worried about that too much right now. We need a hospital. That'll do. That is going to really push the budget for sure. I'll adjust it after. We lose a bit of money. We've got tons. We've got a bit of a cash reserve right now. So, yeah. So we've we've really pushed the uh, residential development of the city to the max. I'm starting to get kind of an interesting suburban area. Let's zoom in and take a look at what the what it actually looks like. Yeah, so kind of a mix of high and medium wealth, and then some of this lower wealth stuff and start to fill out. Yeah, so looks like we need we definitely need commercial. And my question is, where can we get that to develop, or can we get that to develop in plantation-based city? Regional population 430. Yeah, we're not going to make it to 500k in this episode. I, I do apologize, but it's just not going to happen. Interesting, interesting. I'm going to do a similar thing over here. This could be all kind of a suburban area, to be honest. Yeah, this could all be kind of a suburban area around the fringe there. We'll see. We'll see what we decide to do. Maybe another street connection there. Eh, maybe not. We'll see. Yeah, this street here could be connected up for sure. I think we'll do that actually because that will allow me to zone some more commercial. Uh, I'm just going to do this for now. Probably unplug the whole city there. Uh, yep, there we are. Uh, this street is sort of unnecessary at this point. That's. Oops, I want this one. There we are. Uh, we need something and divide that in half maybe yeah and then here like that uh, we need some kind of connection here 
Street Grid's getting a bit messy in this corner, but that's okay. And I think I'm just going to develop this whole area commercial. Uh, not that one. Uh, we're going to go with high density. Uh, the, the, the nuclear power plant's a bit silly, but uh, we will uh, we'll move that at some point very soon, I think. Commercial doesn't really doesn't really mind being near the uh, the nuclear power plant anyway, so not such a bad thing. Weird uh, four length, the four length tiles. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. We'll see. I might put some plazas, or uh, not plazas, but um, I, this is not a bad area to be having a lot of this uh, this high density commercial. To be honest, let's take a look at the zones and see how crazy it looks. It's not a bad area because it, it re this is really a key area where the two, the three cities kind of intersect. So it's just not, uh, it looks a bit weird right now in terms of how, how the zoning is ending up being planned for the region, but it's, it's, it's uh, we should be able to generate some traffic in this area. Does it have police cover? Absolutely not. Okay. Uh, what kind of small station do it? No, we want a large one. Large police station, let's put it like here. There, that's better. And there's just that little gap there, that's okay. Mm, it's fine, I'm not gonna worry about that. Just make sure we got... I think that's the only, the only way to do things is to provide a large commercial zone in a central area. Go, build, build, build. Whoa, that's a big tower. That might be the tallest tower in the city. Yeah, that just provided a ton of jobs. I'm gonna make that historical. I do like that building, I love that Art Deco style. Interesting. Not getting much development. There we go. I will take a look at education quickly. high school here. Perfect. That's hilarious, this big tower that's been built in kind of in the middle. Used up all of our our uh, high wealth office demand in one in one swell fell swoop. Right. Well let's take a look one more time at the at the regional view. I do think that um, I do think that it's somewhat inevitable at this point that we'll end up jumping back and forth a lot. This is this is a really crucial stage, I think, in the in the city's development. Um, 
where where the interaction between these three tiles is is very important. And I think that one of the key things going forward is we we really don't want to be zoning any more residential in this tile. I don't think uh, for the time being. I think we want to be pushing residential development outward. Some of this may end up getting kind of rezoned into into more commercial zones and stuff like that. Yeah. But there's no, yeah, we definitely want to be pushing some of that development, pushing some of that development outward. Pop out to the regional view. It's not the tallest building in the city. These, some of these residential towers are taller, but uh, it is it is probably the tallest commercial building in the city. Yeah, that's that's really a good spot for uh, that's really a good spot for more commercial because we'll have we'll have some road access coming in there as well, kind of fill out some of this residential area here. Um, Kind of fill out that whole area of the city, and then start preparing to uh, 200,000 commercial jobs. Good to get some. We need to get some commercial into Rob's River as well, or Inner Bay. Sorry, I think that's that's the key here. If we look at the balance of, uh, like, we'll want industry here. We'll want industry in the city at some point, but we need to fill out commercial and, and residential in Inner Bay. Rob's River is now is now exceeding Inner Bay's population. Anyway, uh, that's that for this episode. I uh, just want to remind viewers once again that if you want to name neighborhoods in in this city, then um, then uh, you can submit a name in the comments. Uh, neighborhoods, parks, stations, uh, landmarks, really anything. Uh, feel free to leave a comment, and I will see you next time. Ciao.